Welcome to Sakura Dora Creativity. Today we want to show you how to make the triangle bread for making our dots. In the video description you can find the link to our new website and the printable. Please don't forget to like our video, craft and subscribe to our channel. That will be awesome. Let's craft together. Let's start with the bed. Cut out all pieces and use our side and back shape printable to trace the shape on the foam board. It will make it easier. Please check the measurements for your prints. Just lay it on the upper edge and trace the shape on. The paper is from Daiso, but you can use different paper too, or use acrylic paint. The dot lines are showing the paper shape as well. Trace it on the paper, cut it out and glue the paper on both foam board pieces. Now glue the foam board together. It is better to use wood glue for this, because it will be more flat and clean looking and you have time to adjust it for a short while. Press it and let it dry. Do the same with the back side. Use our print shape for the handle and the drawer front design. Trace the paper on the color paper and don't forget to mark the position for the handle. The handle we will make later. Now glue the drawer together. Glue at first the side from the outside edge on the bottom. Don't glue it on top of the bottom. Next the front and back pieces and the side. Now you can glue the bed sides on the back piece. Use the drawer for the bottom position, but please add a few millimeter space between the bottom and the drawer. Last is the front piece above the drawer. Check the position here too. Mark it and glue it on. Here you can see how the bed is looking without the upper part. It's a nice trundle bed. Just change the shape and colors. You can make different beds for your doll rooms. Now we can start with the upper part. Here I use 8mm wood sticks, but I recommend 1cm. You can try to make the sticks out of foam board if you don't want to use wood. But I cannot say how sturdy it will be. For smaller children I would recommend to make it with MDF and use 1cm wood sticks. After you cut the sticks, trace the end on foam board. Leave a few millimeter space around the stick. Cut it out. Don't cut too many, otherwise the stick will not stand inside. Cut 8 pieces.
Sand them and glue two together. Check if the stick can still fit inside. Sand the middle line of the small blocks. Paint it golden. Next we will make the frame. If you make the frame with foam board, you can skip this step. For wood we better use a shish kebab skewer to connect two sticks. Make a hole. The drill is from Daiso 2. The drill and the skewer should be same thick. Cut the skewer and drill another hole into the other stick. The round stick is in the middle of the frame. Glue one side of the skewer into one hole. Let it dry. Paint the wood sticks white. Now we will make the handle. Cut the shape out and trace it on thin cardboard. Cut the skewer 7 to 8 mm long for the handle. Make a hole on the right position and glue the skewer inside. But keep the other side flat because we will glue the second handle on the other side. Let it dry. If you want it more sturdy, better glue another piece on. Paint it golden. After getting dry, make holes in the front side of the drawer and glue the handle inside. Next, glue white paper stripes on the side edges of the bed. Keep the corner open for the poles later. Now we will glue the frame together and on the bed. Use wood glue for it. Next, paint the connection pieces in golden. Let it dry. Place a piece of thin fabric on top. Now it's time for the bedding. Cut out the pillows. You can use our pattern from our blog. Cut the pieces out. For the blanket and mattress, cut out the fabric rectangle. Don't forget to add seam allowance. For the blanket, I used the fabric in purple and blue green, but it had no white spots, so I used kitchen bleaching and bleached it. I washed it and now I'm drawing some flowers and dots on it. The under fabric is with dots. Put the right sides together, pin it and sew it together. Leave a small opening. Turn the fabric on the right side and close the opening. Do the same with the pillows and add some filling. For the small pillow, I closed the opening by hand. Do the same with the mattress. Take the corner and sew over all corner. Cut the corner. Turn the fabric on the right side. Add the filling and close the opening. The next step is optional, but you can sew the both sides together. Usually make 6 or 8 spots. Last is a nightstand. Cut out all pieces. Glue the sides under the top piece. 
Take care that the drawer front is not glued on the nightstand. Now glue the drawer together. Glue the sides on top of the bottom piece. To glue the front piece on the drawer, it's better to place the drawer into the nightstand, but be careful with the glue and don't use too much or you will glue the drawer into the nightstand. Now send the cone around. Cut the wood legs. You can make the legs with paper rolls too. If you use wood legs, drill a hole into the bottom of the nightstand. Glue the legs into the holes and let it dry. Paint the legs golden. Paint it with acrylic paint and let it dry. Make another handle like before and glue the handle on and you're done! Thank you for watching, better don't miss our next craft and subscribe. See you next time!